Okay, so I think at the end of the class, uh, we said that why for outer valence IP, the Koopman's approximation works very well. And if you remember, the arg argument was that the, if this is the n minus 1 electron energy, and this is the n electron energy for the Hartree Fock, and this is, sorry, this is the n electron energy for the Hartree Fock, and this is E n minus 1 Koopman's then this gets depressed because of correlation. So, this is delta correlation for the n electron system. So, this is exact and this gets depressed twice, once because of the Hartree Fock that the SCF that is what we call relaxation and again because of the correlation of n minus 1. However, this correlation is larger than this correlation. So, hopefully for outer valence IP, this and this plus this match so that this difference from the, this is E n minus 1 exact. So, this difference and this difference become almost same. So, this is your Koopman's IP, this is your exact IP, okay. So, that is almost the same because, you know, the relaxation and correlation correction. This is exactly what is called relaxation and correlation correction. So, both of them work uh, in a way that they cancel each other, but assume the, assume the reverse case of an electron affinity. So, let us say I have took an electron affinity where I have a positive electron affinity. So, that means what is positive electron affinity? That means the negative ion is more stable, low ion energy. In such a case, E n plus 1 will be lower than E n, correct, because it is a positive electron affinity. So, let us say this is E n SCF. So, let us do the same thing again, but now note that the E n plus 1 is actually lower and this is E n plus 1 Koopman's. So, without doing Hartree Fock, right. So, this is your Koopman's electron affinity. Now, what will happen is that E n plus 1 will relax correct, just like n minus 1 relaxed, because that is, that is where we have we frozen the orbitals. So, this, this will have a relaxation energy. So, let us say this is E n plus 1 SCF. So, this is your relaxation energy R and then both of them will have a correlation. So, again this is delta 1 for n and then there is a delta 2 for n and this is E n exact, this is E n plus 1 exact. So, your exact electron affinity is this. Now, you can see the reverse thing happening because we said that the correlation energy is proportional to n, delta 2 is now going to be greater than delta 1. So, this is going to be actually greater than delta 1 because this is n plus 1, this is n, but this has a further depression. So, this is, this is depressed more compared to this but this is a further depression because of relaxation. So, in fact, in this case, it is a classic problem where relaxation and correlation are not, not only not cancelling, they are actually working in opposite direction to make the error significantly bad. If relaxation was not there, at least this, this point would not have been there. So, the difference would have been only this minus this. But now, the E n plus 1 Koopman is going down this much, whereas E n is going down only this much. So, there is a relaxation correlation error. So, if, if wherever there is a positive electron affinity, Koopman's E A gets much worse. Is Koopman's E A is very bad because the errors that you have neglected, which is correlation and SCF uh, relaxation are actually working in opposite directions and, and the problem becomes much worse, okay. Whereas in IP, Fortunately, it is in the other direction, okay. So, they kind of cancel. That is simply because your n plus 1 is lower than n, whereas n minus 1 was higher than n. That was the main reason why it happened, okay. So, it depending on how the systems change. For example, if you have a system where there is a negative electron affinity, where again n plus 1 is higher, then again it will happen, it will, it will actually have 
a, a situation more somewhat like the Koopmans, but not a IP, not exactly. Even there, n plus 1 correlation will be at least uh, higher, but it will probably do an overcorrection in that case. So, in any case, electron affinity, it is very hard to get a good result by Koopmans. That is a that is one important uh, conclusion. The IP it works much better because one that is higher is actually n minus one, and that n minus one uh, correlation is lower than n. In this case, even if n plus one goes higher, n plus one correlation is actually higher than n. So the correction will never take place properly for the electron affinity. And if it is positive electron affinity, then system becomes much bad, much worse. So that is uh, that is the problem of the Koopmans. So obviously for IP, so the basic mes message is although Koopmans did this variation method for both n and n, n minus one and n plus one, for elect IP it works much better than the electron affinity. So that is the essential message to show this. All right.